first came to Baja, California in 1977, I was sailing from Argentina uh, to Los Angeles on my father's ship, where I was expedition leader, and we had a couple of extra days, and I, I looked at the uh, charts of the Gulf of California, or the Sea of Cortez, as it's sometimes called, and I saw all these islands, but the second largest one from the southern section was an incredibly beautiful shape. It had all these indented bays, and it just seemed irresistible. I don't think I've ever seen anything as beautiful in my life, and it stayed in my mind forever, and I can visualize that experience moment by moment, even now, 30 years later. I guess I've had a, a deep love affair with Baja California, because quite frankly, it's, uh, it certainly is the best place in the world to see whales, lots of them. Sometimes the moms will even push the calves up to our zodiac as if introducing them. It's a little bit of anthropomorphizing, but it is pretty phenomenal that these whales that were hunted right here, some of them within living memory of an individual whale itself, would be so approachable, would be so curious. Fantastic sights to be this close to the birds and, and the cacti. It's, you know, we, we didn't get the tourist view, we got the, the authentic view. The other aspect of the Sea of Cortez, which is probably surprising to most people, is you can, you can literally sail there for a week and see nobody else, except perhaps the odd fishing boat. But the islands of the Gulf were declared a World Heritage Site in July of 2005, and they are protected. And so, literally, you can have this wildest of experiences within a matter of miles from our own southern borders. It's really quite remarkable. That's called La Entrada right out there, the entrance to the bay and the exit to the... As always, traveling in Baja, California, we'll have an extraordinary staff of people, many of which either hail from the area or, like me, have been down there many, many, many times. And they will range from being experts in ornithology, geology, whales. I've been working with blue whales since the 80s and we just finished a story in the National Geographic on blue whales. Uh, what's very exciting for me right now is those whales we tagged in Santa Barbara. We photographed the offshore work in Costa Rica but they were along this coast. So those, those whales we're seeing off of Magdalena Bay are very likely some of the same whales that the story focused on. That's really exciting to be out there with people shooting their own blue whale pictures to share the story that's just come out in the magazine. I mean, that's very, very cool stuff. We'll have underwater specialists aboard who will conduct diving and snorkeling and do underwater filming to help illuminate what's going on under the sea. It's just a great group of people who will accompany you and really, really help give meaning to this wondrous place. One of the great things about doing this kind of voyage is that we have a lot of expedition tools at our disposal. And so when we find ourselves in some of the situations that we encounter, we're able to explore the place more deeply. So we use kayaks that we take out and explore, allowing us to stretch our arms and go exploring far and wide. Of course, every single day of the voyage, we're using our zodiacs, and they really are the key to our operation, allowing us to go ashore in places that we would never be able to see otherwise. We use our bow camera to watch bow riding dolphins underwater. Um, our engineers have installed a hydrophone system integrated into the hull of the ship. We're able to listen to the clicks and whistles and echolocation of those same dolphins over the ship's PA system. Every one of our departures will have a Lindblad National Geographic certified photo instructor aboard. Whether you're a point-and-shoot photographer or a serious SLR photographer, they will help you make the best out of a great photographic opportunity. Baja California is one of the most amazing places to come for a photo expedition, and we love coming back year after year. The landscape around here is absolutely fantastic. From sunrise to sunset, the photo opportunities here are always a delight. 
We all become a bit of a family on the ship. Everyone on board now shares these incredible experiences. And when we go our separate ways, we'll still have that to share. And some great friendships were made here that will carry on. Well, it's been a special trip for me, having my own kids on board and having them share these experiences with the rest of the families. And I can only hope that these kinds of experiences, both for my kids and for, for all the families on board, help culture a, a real love of the natural world that gets deep into their cells, that it lays the foundation for becoming our, our planet's future stewards. They're our most precious natural resource, and bringing them here to a place like Baja, it lays the foundation for the future of our planet, I feel. Today we find ourselves in Puerto Gato, a beautiful spot. It is a tradition of Limblad to have a barbecue on shore. And today we will be serving spare ribs, we'll have grilled fish, grilled vegetables, we'll have uh, cornbread with jalapeno and lemon butter. Buen provecho. My name is Susan Movis and I'm a wellness specialist on board the National Geographic Seabird and Sea Lion. We have lots of different people coming up with varying levels and abilities and so my class is more geared towards helping open things up and getting the energy flowing. My studio is outside, so it's this beautiful backdrop of mountains. This morning we had whales. We're just surrounded by the beauty of the area, by wildlife, and it's just taking all of this in is, is an amazing thing. Whether it's waking up and shaking and loosening and opening up to the day, whether it's lying down on the massage table to relax in that way, or taking an aerobic hike or a kayak um, around the island, all of these things help us feel better, get, get our energy moving. It's a very, very large component of what we're doing here. You can't talk about it, it's an experience, you know? I'm often asked by people that just have a relatively short period of time, they don't want to travel too far, where would they go? And it's no question what the answer is, it's Baja, California. Yes, I love all the other places we go. No question about it. But none is like Baja, California. The wonder, the beauty, the juxtaposition of the desert and the sea, and the freedom of being able to travel without having to see other people and still have that great sense of wildness, which to me is so very, very important. I cannot live without the tonic of wildness. And Baja, California gives it to me more than any place on Earth.